Hi children, my name is Mansi and I'm going to help you solve the following question. The question here says, prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural numbers. x raised to part 2n minus y raised to part 2n is divisible by x plus y. In this question, we need to prove by using the principle of mathematical induction. Now, before starting the proof, we see the key idea behind the question. Now, we know that the principle of mathematical induction is a specific technique which is used to prove certain statements that are formulated in terms of n, where n is a positive integer. The principle can be explained with the help of two properties. If there is a given statement p at n such that First, P at 1 is true and second, if statement is true for N equal to K where K is some positive integer P at K is true, then statement P at K plus 1 is also true for N equal to K plus 1, then P at N is true for all natural numbers n. Using these two properties, we will show that statement is true for n equal to 1, then assume it is true for n equal to k, then we prove it is also true for n equal to k plus 1, hence proving that it is true for all n belonging to natural numbers. Now we start with a solution to this question. Here we have to prove that x raised to power 2n minus y raised to power 2n is divisible by x plus y. Let p at n be x raised to power 2n minus y raised to power 2n is divisible by x plus y. Putting n equal to 1 p at 1 becomes x raised to power 2 into 1 minus y raised to power 2 into 1 is equal to x square minus y square that is same as x plus y into x minus y. Now x plus y into x minus y is divisible by x plus y Thus, P at 1 is true. Now, assuming that P at K is true, P at K becomes X raised to power 2K minus Y raised to power 2K is divisible by x plus y.
we write that x raised to power 2k minus y raised to power 2k is equal to x plus y multiplied by d where d belongs to n and this becomes the first equation. Now, to prove that P at K plus 1 is also true, putting N equal to K plus 1, we find X raised to power 2 into K plus 1 minus y raised to power 2 into k plus 1. Now as 2 into k plus 1 is equal to 2k plus 2, so x raised to power 2 into k plus 1 minus y into raised to power 2 into k plus 1 is same as x raised to power 2k plus 2 minus y raised to power 2k plus 2. Now, adding and subtracting x raised to power 2 and y raised to power 2k, this expression becomes equal to x raised to power 2k plus 2 minus x square into y raised to power 2k plus x square into y raised to power 2k minus y raised to power 2k plus 2. Now as x raised to power 2k plus 2 is equal to x raised to power 2k x square and y raised to power 2k plus 2 is equal to y raised to power 2k into y square. So this becomes equal to x raised to power 2k into x square minus x square into y raised to power 2k plus x square into y raised to power 2k minus y raised to power 2k into y square. This is equal to x square into x raised to power 2k minus y raised to power 2k plus y raised to power 2k into x square minus y square. This is same as x square into x plus y multiplied by d plus y raised to power 2k into x plus y into x minus y and this we get using 1. Now, taking x plus y as common expression becomes equal to x plus y multiplied by x square d plus y raised to power 2k into x minus y The above expression is divisible by x plus y. Thus, x raised to power 2 into k plus 1 minus y raised to power 2 into k plus 1 is divisible by x plus y. Thus, p at k plus 1 is true. Hence, from the principle of mathematical induction, The statement 
P at N is true for all natural numbers N. Hence proved. I hope you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Goodbye.